All right, everyone, welcome back. It is now February 5th of 2024, and I think it's very fair to say that Lucasfilm is absolutely one of the worst divisions over at Disney due to several factors. I mean, one of which being Bob Iger's lack of leadership, the other of which was keeping Kathleen Kennedy hired as president of Lucasfilm and just tarnishing the brand year by year, disrespecting George Lucas's vision of the franchise, which is why they are doubling down on this race Skywalker movie, quote-unquote, also known as the New Jedi Order film that is still slated to release in 2026 that got delayed by a handful of months. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about director Charmaine Obeid Chinoy, we all know about the controversy surrounding her based on her recent comments back in January and how that created a large backlash that Kathleen Kennedy and Charmaine discounted and labeled as nothing more than a minority of fans. Typical Kathleen Kennedy and typical Lucasfilm response, we have seen this time and time again. But what's interesting about everything moving onwards has a lot to do with Daisy Ridley's position over at Lucasfilm. Now, I'm sure that you all saw the interview where she seemingly defended the fans about how Lucasfilm and how many portions of the media blaming fans that they don't want women in Star Wars, which is completely untrue, and how Daisy Ridley said that that is all blown out of proportion. This is something that deeply upset not just many of those over at Lucasfilm, but also director Charmaine Obeid Chinoy. However, with Lucasfilm in a very delicate state due to the both Bob Iger and Kathleen Kennedy making all the wrong calls in recent years, one major development has to do with Daisy Ridley and recent issues happening with the direction of the story that Charmaine Chinoy is forcing onto Daisy Ridley for the film after rewrites have started between Charmaine and Stephen Knight. A significant update to this actually involves how Daisy Ridley recently decided to stand up against Charmaine Obey Chinoy after Chinoy convinced Kathleen Kathleen Kennedy to move forward with a plan to fix Daisy Ridley's PR stunt that was done on live television where Ridley sided with the fans. Now this is something that both Charmaine and Kathleen Kennedy were infuriated about. Just recently, Charmaine has been pressing Kathleen Kennedy to move forward with a strategy that will essentially retract Daisy Ridley's comments about how men not wanting women in Star Wars are blown out of proportion. The reason why this bothered Charmaine is that Daisy Ridley, who is the star of the film, sided with the fans that were creating the noise, in their opinion, after Charmaine made her comments. An unexpected turn of events that occurred involved Daisy Ridley defending herself head-to-head -head against Charmaine. Charmaine that she is unwilling to reverse her honest statement about the current status of the fandom. A back and forth struggle is already starting to begin as Charmaine presses Lucasfilm to fix Daisy Ridley's PR move that was unscripted and not advised previously by Disney and or Lucasfilm. The original plan by Charmaine with her Rey Star Wars film was that the PR by Daisy would be all about exposing the fandom. Daisy didn't want to promote false claims and or views about the Star Wars fans, which is why she did what she did on live television that created issues behind the scenes at Lucasfilm, and a divide at that. Daisy already informed Charmaine that nothing will make her go against the fans, since Ridley is attempting to save her career. The bigger question that many have been asking is whether or not Daisy's, of course, defense and protecting the fans, seemingly, is genuine or just a strategy to help or save her career, which may very well be a mixture of both. Both Charmaine and Kathy already had an agreement that the best marketing approach should revolve around Daisy promoting women and how Star Wars will be run by women for the years to come. This is something that Daisy already is refusing to do, and it's putting Lucasfilm in a tight spot right now, since they know they need Daisy to make this film work in the first place. In addition to this, Daisy already refused to do various interviews with Charmaine Chinoy by her side, on camera. Ridley wants nothing to do with her, at least for the foreseeable future. At least, of course, for shows like Good Morning America and other programs and or trades like Variety. Daisy already reportedly cancelled her interview with Variety that was going to involve both, of course, herself and Charmaine answering questions about DEI and its importance within Star Wars. Ridley shot down this plan by Disney that was going to take place right around May the 4th as Charmaine and Kathy wanted to create a plan for Daisy 
to defend Charmin on screen due to the ongoing fan backlash. This is no longer happening after Ridley created an ultimatum to not involve herself in anything that would damage her career moving onwards. Now here's the other problem revolving around this guys, is that we know that Daisy Ridley has not been getting any kind of large roles after The Rise of Skywalker back in 2019. That was the last Star Wars film by Disney and Lucasfilm. So ever since then, she hasn't really starred in a blockbuster-worthy title or something that really did so well at the box office that could be considered a classic or a very well-profitable film. So what's interesting about her stance is that now there's this ongoing drama behind the scenes ever since she defended the fans on camera and how this deeply offended Charmin. It is interrupting both Charmin and Kathleen Kennedy's plans for the PR surrounding Daisy Ridley to do these interviews and this marketing campaign for where Star Wars is going in 2026. And it's really a failed attempt by Lucasfilm. It goes to show you how hardcore they are really trying to become when it involves their agenda-driven strategies and it's not working anymore. I think a lot of fans have absolutely, uh, you know, waked up at this point in time. A lot of people are waking up, you know, month by month, realizing what Lucasfilm is doing, what Disney has been up to with their brand. And this is exactly why. They announce these titles and then they cancel these titles and or those projects go into production limbo or just really endlessly hire new creatives on board to take it over. I mean, this is this is something that already happened with the Ray Star Wars film. I mean, initially it was not even Stephen Knight writing this thing or moving the story forward. We had different creators on board behind that. And this just goes to show you once more that Kathleen Kennedy is by far the most inconsistent producer, in my opinion of all time, within the film industry. She does not belong to run a studio like Lucasfilm. She does not belong to pretty much remain under the wing of Disney at that. And so this Ray movie, which by the way, now they're pushing it until December of 2026. They swapped everything. They want the Mandalorian and Grogu film to take its May slot of where the Ray movie was supposed to release. That's all of course due in part to the revisions that are being made to the script and all the drama happening between Daisy, Charmin, and Kathy over the marketing campaign of this movie and what they're about to do in late 2024 into 2025 when they plan to begin filming or even progress filming, I should say. The earlier plans, which were sabotaged by Disney, involved beginning the film by this April. That's no longer happening. And even their summer slot of filming the Ray movie is now pretty much up in the air. And it's really looking to be late 2024 into early 2025 to begin filming this thing. So overall, I would love to hear what everyone has to say about the ongoing situation at Lucasfilm below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.